Today we are going to do chapter 2 of Apprenons le Francais, which is Il est Francais. Means that, is he French? So, the first is, vous connaissez ce jeune homme, young man, qui habite 54 rue de l'école, who lives in 54 street of the school. It's like, a, it's, it's an address. Eh bien, il s'appelle Anish. Il est l'ami de Manuel. He is the friend of Manuel. Il est beau, he is handsome, intelligent, sympathique, means he is nice, intelligent and handsome. Il parle très bien le français, he speaks French really well, mais il n'est pas français, but he is not French. Il a un excellent professeur de français, he has an excellent professor of French. Il sait aussi le hindi et l'anglais, he also knows Hindi and English. Il est indien. He is Indian. Il vit en France avec sa famille depuis quatre ans. He is living in France with his family since four years. Son père travaille à Rouen. Rouen is a place. Travail is the verb travailler, which means to work. So his father, he works in uh, Rouen. Il est directeur d'une banque. So he is a director of a bank. It's like a manager of a bank. It's a profession, right? So he, he is a director of la banque. Sa mère travaille comme secrétaire. So his mother, she works as a secretary. Il a une soeur. He has a sister also. Elle s'appelle Neha. Her name is Neha. The book is a little broken, but uh, I'll just write it for you. Elle s'appelle Neha. Elle a six ans. So with age, you always use the verb avoir and not être. Il est joli. She is pretty. Avec les cheveux longs et frisés. So she is pretty with hair which are long and curly. Frisé is curly. Anish fait beaucoup de sport. Anish does a lot of sports. Il aime faire du cricket et de la natation. He likes to play cricket and do swimming. Natation is swimming. Il sait nager. He knows how to swim. Say is the verb savoir. He knows how to swim. Neha aime faire de la danse indienne, regarder la télévision et lire de bonnes dessinées. So she likes to do Indian dance, Indian classical dance, regarder la télévision, watch television, Et lire des bonnes dessinées. And she likes to read uh, comic books. Bonnes dessinées, comics. Ils ont un petit chien noir. So they have a small chien. Chien is a dog. Noir, black. Il s'appelle Kalu. His name is Kalu. Il s'habite dans un grand appartement près de l'école. They live in a grand apartment with a big apartment near to the school. Le soir... Anish and Neha joue dans le parc avec leur chien. So Anish and Neha, in the evening, they play in the park with their uh, dog. Leur chien est très mignon. So their dog is really cute. Mignon is cute. Il aime jouer et faire long promenade avec les chiens. So they like to play and do long uh, walks. Promenade is walk with the dog. And that is your reading comprehension. Now you have some questions. The vrai ou faux. So tell if it's true or false. First, Anish est français. La père de Anish est secrétaire. So his father is a secretary. Anish habite dans une grande maison. Does he live in a big house? Le chien de Anish s'appelle Kalu. The dog of Anish, his name is Kalu. Then you have coche la bonne réponse. You have to uh, select the correct answer. Anish vit en France depuis. He is living in France since 2 years, 3 years, 4 years. Neha a les cheveux. Court et red, small and straight. Long et frisé, long and curly. Court et frisé, short and curly. La mère des enfants est secrétaire, institutrice, femme ou foyer. So is she a secretary and instructress, like uh, someone who, in, like an instructor, or femme ou foyer? Femme ou foyer is a housewife. 
La famille habite dans un studio, un appartement et une maison. Where do they live? In a studio, apartment or just an apartment or une maison. Then you have répondé. You have to give short answers. Où habite a niche? Where does a niche live? Décrivez la sœur de niche. So you have to describe the sister of a niche. You have to tell uh, what age is she, what does she like to do, how does she look, her hair and everything. Then you have positionné des adjectifs. So how to position the adjectives in French? Unlike in English, in French the adjectives are put afterwards. For example, I say red dress right i say red dress but this red dress in french would be written as dress red right so that is the difference the adjectives are placed after the noun which are those adjectives first adjectives of colors so all the colors would be placed after the noun le livre brun le livre rouge le livre marron etc etc Adjectives which indicate forms and shapes. So all kinds of forms and shapes will be placed after the noun. Yun port etruat. Yun port rond. Yun port ekare. These are just different shapes, right? So you will place them after the, uh, you know, after the noun. Adjectives which indicate nationality. So nationalities are also uh, an adjective. It would be un étudiant fran français, un étudiant indien, un étudiant japonais. Certain short descriptive adjectives are placed before the noun. So just like we have in English, there are certain exceptions in French that are placed before the noun. So these are the adjectives, you have to learn it. They are placed before. Petit is before, petit garçon, grand. Grand appartement. Faux. C'est vrai ou faux. False. Vrai is true. Bon is good. Mauvais means bad. Jolie is pretty. Jolie uh, fille. La jolie fille. Jeune. La jeune fille. Is young. Vieux is old. Uh, la vieux femme. So the... Uh, uh, in fact, for femme, it would be vie. For men, it would be vie. So, le vie homme, for example, right? Le vie homme, the old man. Gentil, which is good, like someone who's gentle, someone who's kind. Gros is like fat or someone who's very healthy. And nouveau is new. So, for example, a gros homme. A yun joli fi. So grow is coming before and joli is also coming before. Uh, a healthy man and a pretty girl. There are other common adjectives which are placed before the noun. First is shak. Shak mata. Every morning. Shak means every. Dernier. Dernier means last. Le dernier sujet. The last subject. Autre. Autre means uh, other, other autre sujet, for example, the other subject. Quelque, quelque means some. Tout means all. Premier means first. And plusieurs means multiple. Un autre garçon vient. Another boy is coming. Quelque élèves viennent. Some students are coming. Now, DES, there is one exception here, one rule. DES, which is the indefinite article, which means some. Remember, un, un, de. So, this de will become DE when there is an adjective before the nouns in plural. So, for example, de livre brun, some Books that are brown. They livre brun. It's after the adjective. So we will write they only. But if I want to say they grow livre. Fat books. Heavy books. The 
grow livre so because it is uh, plural also but because the adjective is before the noun it will become de de fi intéressant but de joli fi c'est une belle fille ce sont de belles filles right this is one exception then you have uh le nom nouns adjectives we already know after this you have a list of verbs right some verbs are followed directly by another verb in the infinitive form so it basically means that whenever there are two verbs in a single sentence right so for example je sais which is the verb savoir and then you have another word which is joue only the first one is conjugated second one is never conjugated in any sentence where there are two verbs together so je sais jouer au tennis i know how to play tennis aimer il aime this is conjugated faire this is in its infinitive form means it's not conjugated il aime faire du ski he likes to do skiing pouvoir tu peux aller au cinéma you can go to the cinema falloir il faut compléter le devoir uh, one should or it must your the homework must be done nous voulons we want to watch the television vouloir means to want préférer to prefer elle préfère acheter la robe rouge she prefers to buy the red dress devoir means should tu dois finir le travail you should finish your work this is not conjugated this is conjugated désirer to desire je désire aller en france so i desire to go to france faire elle fait cuire un gâteau she knows uh, sorry she uh, basically faire means to do or to bake right or to make to do to bake to make everything is fair right so she basically makes or she cooks or she bakes a cake so the first verb fair queer basically means to cook but this is how we write she makes a cake elle fait cuire un gâteau and alle je vais manger this is basically a tense which is i am going to eat cake this is basically called futur proche basically something some action that is going to happen in future but very near future so je vais manger i am going to eat the cake right for example i am going to eat the breakfast i am going to eat the apple so je plus the verb aller which is conjugated and then the infinitive form of the verb right means the full form of the then you have one verb out of all of this which is falloir falloir means must means 100% necessary 100% it should be done if i say you must i must do this they must do this that is falloir but it is called an impersonal verb impersonal verb means that it does not have conjugation there is only one thing il faut il faut will mean i must il faut me will mean you must il faut will mean he must she must we must they must everything right so there is only one conjugation of this verb falloir which is il faut right some other impersonal verbs are neiger to snow now that's the basic logic i can never say she snows they snows i can only say it snows right so it will only be conjugated with il pleuvoir i can never say she rains he rains they rains but i can only say it rains so il pleut it rains that is the only thing that we can do il pleut il neige and il faut il faut basically means it is necessary that or it is necessary to complete the work it is necessary to do homework like that then that is your basically your la famille some questions on that then you have mettez au présent so you have to put in present all the verbs er ir and re that you have done 
you have to put it in plural you have to uh, add the synonym so bo would be charmo charmo means charming like that you have to match the following complete selon l'exemple so you have to complete it l pouvoir aider ton ami would become l p because only this is conjugated this is as it is l pouvoir aider ton ami il fall with faluar we can only do fo il fo dormir to nu voulons aller au cinéma je dois travailler bien henry say nage depuis deux ans that's it and then you put the adjective possessive that we have done previously mon ma me ton ta te yours his hers like that then you have to place these adjectives avant ou après choisir la bonne réponse you have to choose that which color or uh, which thing will come Uh, according to the object so if the object is feminine your adjective should be feminine or your family member should be feminine like that yeah and i guess that is it with this chapter so that is it with uh, this chapter and i'll see you the next time